Hi, this is Dr. Swamnath Mukhopadhyay, DM Cardiology, passed in the year of 2018, presently practicing interventional cardiology in Nightingale Hospital, Kolkata, and Salt Lake AMRI, Kolkata. Our today's topic of discussion is latest update in hypertension. To introduce this thing, this topic, as per WHO, nearly 63 percent of total deaths in India are due to non-communicable diseases. Of which 27 percent are attributed to CVD, cardiovascular disease, which affects 45 percent people in the 40 to 69 age group. Raised blood pressure is among the most important risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. Moreover, it remains poorly controlled due to low awareness about hypertension, lack of appropriate care through primary care, and poor follow-up. so there are several points first is in india the prevalence has also gone up over 30 years to 38% in men and 32% in women from 29% and 28% respectively despite that nearly half of the people of 51% of the men and 41% of women with hypertension were unaware of their conditions additionally over 62% of the men and more than 53% of the women living with hypertension did not get treatment medication was used to control blood pressure in fewer than 1 in 5 men and 1 in 4 women with hypertension worldwide this is a who document in published in lancet 2021 International Society of Hypertension (ISH) has released the ISH 2020 Global Hypertension Practice Guideline. The inclusion of optimal and essential treatment paradigms attempt to address the issue that in resource-poor settings, optimal care refers to evidence-based standard of care, and whereas essential standards refer to minimum standards of care to allow specification of essential standards, a standard of care for low resource setting. The AHACC has released a scientific statement in 2021 offering new guidance for management of stage 1 hypertension among patients with low ASCVD risk among low risk adults no ASCVD or 10 year CVD risk less than 10% with uh, stage 1 hypertension blood pressure 130 to 140 and 80 to 89 diastolic management starts with non pharmacological therapy if blood pressure remains uncontrolled at 3 to 6 months consider starting pharmacological therapy next point is ARDS acute respiratory distress syndrome is a potentially fatal condition involving lung damage and experts often associate with it with severe covid-19 a recent study which appears in the journal of the american college of cardiology reports that metoprolol can reduce lung inflammation and improve respiratory function in people with covid-19 induced ARDS Next point is lowering systolic blood pressure targets down to the 110 to less than 130 mm mercury range substantially reduced CVD CV adverse events in the step randomized trial affirming the sprint finding for an older chinese population among some 8500 patients aged 60 to 80 years in china the intensive target trimmed 26% of the composite severities findings from now a second major trial supporting a lower target could unite the guidelines which even among us professional societies range from threshold to uh, threshold of 130 to 150 mm of mercury now next is with regard to prognostic value of ambulatory blood pressure monitoring abpm and night time blood pressure monitoring the 2018 european guideline on the management of arterial hypertension recommended that the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be depend on office bp measurement but also an out of office bp measurement such as ambulatory blood pressure monitoring or home blood pressure monitoring are to be included in the definition and in the diagnosis 24 hour and night time bp measurements were associated with greater risk of mortality and a composite of cv outcome thus they may be considered as the most relevant measurement for estimating cv risk for every 20 by 10 mm mercury that is systolic 20 diastolic 10 20 by 10 mm mercury increment of blood pressure measurement at night the risk of mortality increased by 23% and the risk of cardiovascular event increases by 36% that is significant enough 
most patient next point our next point of discussion is most patient with hypertension require lifelong medical therapy to achieve optimal blood pressure control 2018 european guidelines equally recommended five classes of anti hypertensive drugs considering high non adherence treatment the importance of combination treatment is particularly highlighted to improved adherence to therapy and blood pressure control therefore the 2018 european guideline recommended that especially in the context of lower blood pressure targets to start anti hypertensive therapy with an initial dual fixed dose combination so this is the recommendation of the fixed dose combination of ac inhibitor arb plus ccb or diuretics this is the combination so that is the very relevant thing that you have to you, you can use combination drugs from initiation since early july next point of discussion is since early july 2018 products containing valsartan have been recalled worldwide the reason is the detection of a known carcinogen namely ndma which can be found in candesartan arbisartan losartan olmesartan and valsartan ndma has been classified by the who international agency cancer to be carcinogenic in human and if 1 lakh patients would have received ndma contaminated valsartan from Uh, that uh, from a site which uh, actually name is jejiang huahai manufacturing site uh, where the highest levels of contaminants are found every day for 6 years in the highest dose it could result in 22 additional liver cancers over the lifetime of this patient that is not uh, at all insignificant the presence of ndma in these drugs could lead to eight additional cancer cases in one lakh patients if they had taken the highest daily dose of over 4 years all certain recall accompanied by a significant increase in the rate of emergency department visit of 6% next and the last discussion for today is the hygia study which represents the largest study that tested nighttime antihypertensive treatment in this trial chronotherapy was associated with a significant reduction in end point including death the hygia chronotherapy trial tested with a night time therapy in comparison to usual upon awakening hypertension therapy exerts a favorable cv risk reduction the largest study in uh, included a total of 19000 hypertensive patients during an average follow up of 6.3 years 1752 participants experienced the primary cv outcome an ambulatory blood pressure measurement was performed for 48 hours to collect data on how bp different uh, bp is different during sleep the the relative risk reduction for cv events was significantly improved for night time treatment when compared with awakening treatment and hygia study is actually supports the night time bp reduction by uh, when uh, whenever it is used with abpm or hbpm monitoring usually abpm monitoring not hbpm monitoring you know there is an advantage over nowadays uh, patients are uh, asking about the uh, high and night time and day time uh, bp measurements and whether abpm is better than hbpm or hbpm is better than abpm uh, in this study hygia study and the recent um, trials with the recent documents those are telling that night time bp reduction is very important thing to reduce cv events and night time bp is particularly properly measured by abpm and though there are some fallacies of abpm during abpm patient cannot sleep properly and there may be a chance of more sympathetic activity to increase blood pressure after all these arguments still now to record night time blood pressure abpm is the better technique the latest update in hypertension to conclude first is the indian scenario you have to treat properly you have to treat more second important thing is lower the bp lower the systolic bp then chance of cv events are less third is the points regarding erds blood pressure monitoring properly and metoprolol can reduce lung inflammation so so with anti hypertensive you can reduce inflammation also third important thing is the the issue of hbpm and abpm that is out of office blood pressure monitoring has come forth uh, in 2018 european guideline now next important thing so uh, we have discussed that recommendations of recent sartans uh, having ndma that is uh, carcinogenic and the last thing is night time bp measurement where, where if night time bp can be reduced we can lower the cv events so 
well, that's all for today's discussion. That's all for the latest update and uh, latest update in hypertension. Thank you. Thank you for your patient hearing.